right, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, and welcome to the official media luncheon, the kickoff of our 45th Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach Race Weekend. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm Chris Esslinger. I'm the Director of Communications here, and I want to welcome you all on behalf of the Grand Prix Association to our, uh, to our luncheon and to our event this weekend. Uh, we're going to get this thing started here, so without any further ado, I want to introduce our master of ceremonies for, uh, for today's luncheon. Uh, safe to say he's the voice of the IMS radio network. He was gracious enough to uh, come in a little bit early and, and, uh, and be here for this today. Uh, Mr. Mark James. Mark. Thanks, Chris, very much. Welcome to the 45th Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach. We've obviously uh, been blessed with a gorgeous day. I think you folks that live here call this Thursday. Uh, it's an honor to assist with this event today. It truly is. I was quick to accept, uh, obviously, to come in a couple of days early, as Chris said. H historic and iconic, uh, those are among the many superlatives that are used to describe this event. And uh, just the mere mention of it uh, brings a smile to the face of all of those associated with motorsports for sure. Uh, plenty of coverage this weekend, radio and television, live IndyCar broadcast on the NBC Sports Network at 1 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, the IMS Radio Network also on Sirius and XM this weekend. Uh, the live IMSA WeatherTech Championship race will be on NBC Sports Network at 2 p.m. on Saturday, so you can follow it all weekend long. Honor and privilege now to introduce our first speaker as closely associated with this event and with an event as anyone in perhaps all of sports. And uh, enjoy this because this will be the longest amount of time that uh, he'll stand in one place all weekend long. Mr. Jim McCallion. Thank you very much, Mark. And on behalf of all of us at the Grand Prix, let me again uh, extend our Welcome to all of you to the 45th Acura Grand Prix. It's uh, exciting to have all of you here. You know, the weather seems to be holding the form. This is Long Beach weather, and this is the Grand Prix weekend, and we're looking forward to having a lot of excitement, not only for uh, the racing action, but also the non-activity racing action will take place on, off track. Uh, actually, our weekend has already started to a certain degree. Uh, I don't know if you had a chance, uh, some of you, to join us at the Long Beach Motorsports Walk of Fame ceremony that we just held here this uh, this morning. And uh, we're very delighted that the two inductees into that uh, into that Walk of Fame are here today, Sebastian Bourdais and Will Power. Now I know before you start asking questions, but well, wait a second, you inducted them into the Walk of Fame and they're still active participants in the in the series, so what happens to all the stats? I made a commitment today in the ceremony that uh, when their racing careers are over, and we know that they're going to accumulate a lot more in terms of their accolades, why we're going to rip out those old medallions and take them out and give them updated ones, so what people will see in the end will be all a reflection of what these gentlemen have been able to produce in terms of their skills. So we're looking forward to doing that uh, sometime well into the future because neither one of them are ready to uh, achieve that status right now. So we're delighted that we're able to uh, honor them in terms of their contribution to, uh, to our series here as well as uh, uh, in, on an international basis. And this starts the, the weekend off, okay? We have activities uh, tonight uh, that we usually do. We've got a community events like we have down at the uh, Thunder Thursday on the, at the pipe. We'll have over 8,000 people there, uh, all free, opportunity for people to come out and attend and sort of get a feel for what the Grand Prix is all about. And then we start tomorrow, as you mentioned, uh, we have six races here, nonstop action from Friday morning at 7.40 all the way through Sunday night at 5 o'clock. And we even run at night when we have drifting on, uh, on Friday and Saturday night. But it isn't confined just to the activities that are on track. We also have a plethora of things that go on off track which is obviously an attraction for a lot of the attendees here because a lot of them aren't real hardcore race fans and they come because of the excitement and the energy and the environment that this event has. And so we have a lot of activities off track including a huge lifestyle expo where people can go in and see a number of interactive displays and, and 
get to play with simulators and the other events that are in there. We have two concerts up on the plaza on Friday. We have a concert with Elf Tree and Saturday Cold War Kids uh, along with Moon Tower. Uh, we should provide entertainment uh, on, uh, on those evenings. Plus there's a variety of different activities within the circuit. Uh, we have a go-kart track, we have an exotic car corral. Uh, there's an opportunity for people to come out and virtually do anything. And that's really what we want to do in terms of providing a menu for everybody to have a chance to come out, sample, and hopefully achieve a level of success in terms of their excitement about the event. I mentioned the fact that this is the 45th Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach. That has a nice ring to it, at least it does for us. We think that's uh, uh, what we've been able to achieve so far in terms of the relationship with Acura is really, really very significant. When you think about it, it was about 60 days ago, on February the 5th, when we made the announcement that Acura was coming on board as a catastrophe. 60 days. And look what's been accomplished since that time. For those of you who reside in the Southern California area, you're obviously aware of all the television advertising that was done in conjunction with the Southern California Acura dealers in terms of a test drive and opportunity to enter a contest for a pace ride, and in addition to the social media that the, the, the dealers have been doing. But now you're going to see real indication of the significance of the branding here, cars on display, the heritage, the racing heritage that Acura has, which to a lot of people is sort of an unfamiliar thought process because uh, you know, Honda has sort of dominated in terms of their, uh, their presence certainly here. Uh, but Acura has a long history and you'll see that uh, simplified by what's going on inside the, uh, the Long Beach Arena. But I can tell you this, from our standpoint, from the Grand Prix, we're very excited about this new relationship. We see it not only burgeoning as it is today, but because we have a long-term relationship with, uh, with Acura coming, we see this doing nothing but growing. So what you're going to see this year, really, is just the start of something fantastic. And I, I certainly want to thank uh, Acura for, for John, uh, Kato, who's the uh, Vice President and General Manager, all the way down through his staff. The cooperation and integration in with our group has been extraordinary. And this is what you see after 60 days. What you see it after a year and 60 days is going to be something fantastic. So we're very, very delighted with the relationship has gone so far, and we're looking forward to expanding on in the future. And I'd like to ask John and Katie to come up and say a few words. John. Thank you, Jim. Um, I, I'm kind of dumbfounded right now because I really can't believe that this is happening. <laughs> Um, three and a half years ago, uh, Acura went on a quest to revitalize her performance brand image. And that's our heritage, that's where we came from. And uh, we introduced NSX, and uh, after that, we got into the business of making, making race cars, uh, GT3. And uh, we were selling race cars with this brand now. And then a year after that, uh, we aligned ourselves with Team Penske, and then the Innocent Racing Series is there. And all of a sudden, uh, just a year after that, we were sponsoring the Long Beach Grand Prix, which is mind-boggling for a kid that grew up in LA, coming to this uh, event year after year, watching all these fantastic race cars and drivers uh, run through the street courses here. And so, for us at Acura, uh, we're, we're so delighted. We're so delighted to be part of this event. A lot of people uh, worked very hard in the 60 days I did mention to make this thing come together. Uh, we're excited about the city. You know, the Long Beach city is revitalizing, and uh, we want to be able to revitalize this race event even further. Uh, hats off to Toyota. All these years of doing a fantastic job of curating the races and bringing all the excitement. I do know that uh, commitment and loyalty to, to something uh, is, is meaningful, and uh, Toyota's done a great job with that. But uh, we're taking on the torch now, and we're going to look forward to having a great weekend and uh, many more good events to come. So thank you very much, and uh, let's kick this thing off. Thank you, Jim. the C300 volunteers, the Grand Prix volunteers, and the Hilton Long Beach staff for their help in setting up this match. An outstanding job as always today. 
Next up, an honor and a privilege to introduce Chris Ann Kerr, Vice President of Communications for Common Ground Alliance, spearheading the Call 811 initiative. And they have stepped up to graciously sponsor today's luncheon. Uh, so a few words from her now. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It is a privilege to be here. This is our third year, relatively small time frame, of partnering and supporting the 811 Call Before You Date message here in beautiful Long Beach. Um, as you walk around this weekend, you'll see our signage, and I'd also encourage you to take a look over at the convention center where we have a giant shovel that's leaning up through the rafters, reminding homeowners that for projects big or small, to always make the call to 811 before you dig. Um, below the nation's surface in the concrete here, there are more than 20 million miles of buried fiber optic, electric, cable, and water. And trust us, you don't miss them until you can't use them. So every nine minutes, one of these lines is damaged, and we're here to promote National Safe Digging Month and to talk about our free service and to keep America safe and connected. So one call does it all. It's a free service. And again, we are thrilled to partnership here and to be a part of the Grand Prix of Long Beach. And I think we're also going to hear a little bit from uh, one of our great ambassadors who may have not made that call to 811. I think you're familiar with this guy, Mr. Elio Castanetis. Hello, race fans. I'm Andy Castaneda, driver of the number three Penn Gardens Fancy Chevrolet, safety is our number one goal on and off the track. That's why we want to remind you to call 811. Let me repeat, 811 before starting any home improvement project. Call 811.com for more information. All right. So, you got that power. It's it's free. All right. It's free, man. I, I want to make sure I clarify to Mr. Power. So, uh, you know, interesting uh, story I had actually um, uh, even before uh, uh, associated with uh, 811. I uh, I had one of the New Year's Eve. I was throwing a party, and I did not call 811. I was trying actually to. Uh, I uh, built a fence to uh, not have my dog to go away, so I was like, you know, literally grab the, the thing and start hammering it down, and all of a sudden, I hit a pipe. Yes, I hit a pipe, and all of a sudden, water gushing out. This is like about six hours before the party. Imagine how the party, it, it felt like, you know that movie, uh, um, I think it was uh, one of the movies that you see the whole backyard full of water. Anyway, it was me on that day, I regret till this day, until I found out call 811 and I should have done that my wife was not happy about that which uh, trust me guys it's a was uh, I still uh, I still get a grip from it but anyway um, call 811 in fact we're gonna be celebrating with a big cake by the way and we're gonna start digging that we don't need to call 811 to dig in that cake but I want to make sure that this is the month that uh, people realize that we start going out in the backyard start doing things that digging that you don't want to be doing it and I'm sure Mr. Powell is going to be digging in his backyard too so make sure we take care. Call A1. Thanks guys, appreciate it, enjoy it. Bye. Thank you Eliana. Yes, we can dig into that cake without calling before you dig. Thanks for the opportunity to be here. Enjoy your lunch and I'll turn Thanks Mark. Thank you. Thank you again very much. Okay, time to introduce uh, some of the drivers that have graciously joined us uh, here this afternoon. Many of you in the media have talked to them already, but they've visited with a lot of fans. Uh, let's run through that list again. Stan, when you're introduced, please. Uh, Two-time winner of the Long Beach uh, Grand Prix, Will Power. A three-time winner here. He will also do the Long Beach Double this weekend. He'll compete as well in the Bubba, Bur Bubba Burger Sports Car. Rod Free driving this Ganassi 66 Ford GT. Talking about, of course, Sebastian Bourdais. Also here from the NTT and E-Car Series, Santino Ferrucci. Jack Harvey driving the number 60 Acura in the car this weekend. Colton Hurd is here today, Colton. Also, Ed Jones. 
Patricio Award is here this weekend. Graham Rahal. Felix Rosenquist. The winner of the 2013 race here at Long Beach, Takuma Sato. And Zach Beach. Drivers here this weekend and here today from the Emsa WeatherTech Sports Car Championship, Dave Cameron. You've already heard from Elio Castro Neves. Ali Gavin. Kyle Kaiser is here. Juan Pablo Montoya. And we're happy to have Will Owen with us here today. Will? Some of the other series uh, competing here this weekend, some of the drivers that have joined us here today from the Pirelli World Challenge Championship, Michael Cooper. From the historic IMSA GTO Challenge Series, Mike Parsons is here. And we'll also have the Mokegi Racing Super Drift Challenge here this weekend, as well as the Speed Energy Stadium Super Truck Series. So thanks to those folks for being here as well. Again, thanks to everyone for being here today. I wish you all the best of luck to drivers and competitors throughout the course of this weekend. Don't forget tonight, 6.30, the official kickoff of race weekend for the fans. It's Thursday Thunder, that'll be at the Pike Outlets, of course. The Carlin IndyCar team will have the 59 car of Max Chilton and the 31 of Patricio Award. They'll be performing pit stop competitions on Shoreline Drive. That'll be at 6.45 and 7.45. Let's have a great weekend of racing. Congratulations to all the participants in advance. Thank you.